Previously on Resurrection. I'm not taking the medication. Rachel. It's okay. I lost you once. I can't do it again. You need to come back upstairs. That's incredible. It's a miracle. I need to tell you something. I'm returned. I could have helped you if you just let me in. I didn't want it to defy me. It doesn't. Ray Richards, he's showing symptoms of the virus. He's not a returned. No, he's not. That was Henry Langston, Grandpa. <laughs> These people are getting sick. And they told us that we can't catch it. They told us that we're safe. But it turns out they were wrong. And I say, we take action tonight. Just the cheap stuff. Organic soups, good pasta sauce. Your moral excellence is not in question here. Emma, she's four now. When Emma saw that cross on our door, the poor thing just started crying. I started crying. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's just with the kids and this virus. I can't take the risk. I understand what you're going through. I really do. But are you sure you want to do this? Turn your back on a loved one. Master, this was my late husband's father. I'm sorry. But he can't live with us anymore. Timothy Bungartner's basement. Summer after sixth grade. Tried to get us out of it. He ran away screaming. I was so scared. <laughs> I went back to his basement after I walked you home. We made out. It was fun. <laughs> On my way home, I twisted my ankle. You told me that you were practicing, practicing gymnastics in my front yard. <laughs> that morning, my father had told me he wanted to leave town for a few days. I was supposed to go home and watch Ray. Mm. You always were your brother's keeper. Not that day. I was just so tired. My father's crap. Taking care of Ray. I went to your house, and your dad bandaged me up, and you left. Is he still unconscious? In and out for the past four hours. He's getting worse, isn't he? I think so. Sorry, we're closed. Any idea who painted that cross? Nope. Mind if I take a look at your security footage? It was not working. Been dysfunctional for a while now. Listen, I know you claim to return. Your aunt, Heather McCutcheon. Wouldn't you want to help stop this kind of thing from happening again? No. I really appreciate if you just leave.
of these old photos, anyway. Old photos are precious. Ah, careful. They hold history. Forgotten emotions and memories. Well, it's important not to dwell in the past. It's equally important not to forget it. Lest it come back to bite you. I remember this. Dad said that one day it'll have my name on it. Margaret. That's so nice to see you. You didn't mention you were related to William Kirk. Yeah. Yeah, he was my grandfather. Did you know him? Are you going to invite me in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Please. Your grandfather worked at the factory. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, but he was a laborer. Just like hundreds of other men who worked there over the years. I assume you wouldn't remember him. Well, don't forget, before I was a Langston, I was an Anderson. Head foreman's daughter. I knew the faces of nearly every man who lifted a hammer in that factory. Well, I'd love to continue this conversation. Unfortunately, my cousin should be home any minute. I don't want to be an impolite house guest. How about we head into town and have a coffee? It was a tragedy what happened to your grandfather. Dying in that fire. There were a lot of rumors about the Langstons back then. Nasty rumors. I was just a girl, and all I know are the stories I heard. Still... If there was even a modicum of truth to those rumors, I certainly wouldn't blame someone for wanting revenge on my family. Would you? What is it you want, Margaret? Kill the deal. Stay the hell away from my family. Hey, got your call. How many so far? Five. I'm counting. Their families are afraid now that the virus has jumped to the living. Any of these people sick? None are showing any signs that I can see. Guess the honeymoon is over, huh? I was thinking... It might help for them to know you're in the same boat. Nobody's unclaimed me. You know what I meant? I'm not sure how effective I'll be at my job if half the town hates me. Revealing yourself would be an act of courage. You'd be surprised how contagious that could be. Spoke to her this morning. Couldn't change her mind. Excuse me, can I talk to you? I'm Agent Bellamy. I've been assigned to help with the return. So you're in charge of finding my father-in-law and your placement? Ma'am, we're not running a foster care system. There's no way to place him. What about where those others were taken? The unclaimed returned? The government must have some sort of housing for them. You really want to do that? Just dump them in a government home? Don't do that. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know anything about this. What gives you the right to judge me? Someone put a cross on my door. They targeted us. I have to protect my family. That man is your family. He's a human being, just like you. A human being? I don't know what that is. Lucille. Hi, Maggie. With everything that's been going on, I imagine that you haven't been eating very well. Thank you. Maggie, I also wanted to apologize. The things I said to your mother that night at dinner, had I known that she was going away? You tore her apart. I didn't realize how angry I was. Well, she didn't deserve that. Sorry for your loss.
people are dumping their retirement to Tom's church. Did you know this? They're scared. Because of fear-mongering. Whoever painted those crosses... There's a virus going around, Agent Bellamy. People... A virus that's only infected a single non-return. Thank you for telling me what's going on in my own town. I don't know how I'd get my job done without you. Look, those crosses might only be the beginning. We know what happened before. Before? Those men that died in the factory fire. We don't even really know what happened. We now. know that they were murdered again and again. Sheriff, history has a way of repeating itself. It's from a website. A bunch of knuckleheads calling themselves the true living of Arcadia. You know who these people are? No, but I'm gonna go talk to somebody who might. Meanwhile, you can make yourself a cup of tea and relax. You're like a stress tornado. Making me nervous. Hey. I think I figured out how Rachel got better. And if I'm right, it could lead to a cure. The baby? So far, you're the only patient to completely recover from the virus. And I think it's due to your pregnancy. You think the baby cured her somehow? It's not unheard of. See, sometimes when a pregnant woman is sick, the fetal stem cells will migrate into her system and help boost her own immune response. Okay, so what are you asking? I would like to do an amniocentesis to remove some amniotic fluid. And if I can isolate the free-floating stem cells, I can test if they have the ability to cure the virus in others. Are there any risks? Well, as with any invasive procedure, yes, there are risks. In this case, there's a very small chance of miscarriage. But that being said, it is less okay, than... Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I mean, it's just an amnio, right? And if it could help people, then of course. Great. I'll let my colleague, Dr. Brunner, she'll be performing the procedure. And don't worry, we can do it all here. We'll be home by this afternoon. Maggie, thank you for being there for me throughout all of this. Of course, it's my job. Still. You didn't even hesitate. Huh? Why would I? I have to tell you something. When you were in the hospital unconscious, I was gonna give you the medicine against your wishes. Maggie found out and stopped me. I knew what I was doing was wrong, but to just stand there and do nothing and watch you slip away helpless, I'm sorry. on the phone with the key club everyone's anxious about these crosses mm. everything okay yeah rachel's gonna have an amnio an amnio is that necessary you know there are risks i know yep maggie explained it if you find out something's wrong with him are you planning on terminating no no, no no janine that's not what this is about maggie thinks the baby's amniotic fluid might be a key to curing the virus oh th that's amazing I need to get to the key club meeting, so I'll see you both at home. You kidding me? You probably don't want those anyway. I thought you might like some company. Also, I, w I wanted to ask you a couple questions about something I'm working on. Where did the stem cell go? Gates return. He avoided them. S somehow he gets their disease? How? I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. No, that would require forethought. Do you know once he actually tried to raise chickens in our kitchen? Who do you think had to clean up after those damn birds? Me! My whole life, I've been taking care of him, defending him from bullies, protecting him from my father. Do you know why I didn't go off to art school? No, I don't. Because I was afraid that something would happen to him if I left. And now he gets sick with this? How incompetent do you have to be? I, I didn't mean that.
Do you have a sandwich? What do you want to ask me? There's a group of idiots who met at Twain's. They call themselves the True Living. I just wondered if you saw them or know anything about them. You're kidding me, right? You still prefer no onions in your potato salad, Henry? You remember. Mother never forgets. Let's see. Perfect. It's your best work yet. Dad. The perspective on the roof, it's a little off, see? Okay. I'll go get some colored pencils. You think he saw the cross on the door? No. I think Lucille cleaned it up in time. Hello? Yes? What? Well, that doesn't make sense. We're supposed to meet tomorrow. I see. Uh, thanks for the call. Where's the bank? Addison pulled out of the deal. Oh, Henry, I'm sorry. Did they say why? No, oh, not a word. He was so eager. I can fix this. No, let it go. I mean, you wouldn't want to be in business with someone who treats you like that. At least I want to hear it from him. Henry, drop it. There'll be other investors. Well, then. Theodore. No. Why? Because I dated a Teddy. <laughs> Teddy Hawkins. <laughs> I couldn't stand that guy. Oh, you were jealous. Maybe. Is that, uh, is that for Teddy? In the hospital, I saw it in the gift shop that night. Couldn't resist. <laughs> Nathaniel. Oh. Oh, quicken your hand, give me. Wow. He's strong. <laughs> Once I give Ray the shot, it'll essentially be a race between the virus attacking his platelets and the stem cells attacking the virus. I don't know if it'll work, but even if it does, he could get worse before he gets better. How many ampules do you have left for the sick return? Not many. Can you get more? She's not calling me back.
It was fine. Um, Maggie said I just need to rest 24 hours. We'll check in on you. I put some extra blankets on your bed in case you get cold. Just let me know if you need anything else. Thanks, Junior. Tom? Maggie had no business doing this. What do you mean? She guilted Rachel into having the amnio. How can she say no after she practically convinced her everyone was going to die if she didn't? Look, she didn't jeopardize the baby. Well, we don't know that. Rachel could still have complications. The rapid growth of the baby, the unusual circumstances. We don't know what the complications could be. Let's not focus on things that haven't happened yet, okay? The only reason Maggie wanted to have the amnio in the first place is because her best friend's brother is sick. And she's willing to take unnecessary risks because of that. She was trying to save a life. So am I. Look, it's like you've been saying all along. We just have to put our faith in God and trust it'll all work out. I'm trying. <laughs> I gotta get to church. What do you think about the name Nathaniel? Um, uh, Rachel suggested it. I, I just thought... I like it. I made you something. Do you think of that yourself? Come here. Joey Nolan. He seems to be the leader of the group. He went to school with his dad. It's hard for me to believe that he could be dangerous, but people in this town are getting harder to predict these days. Look, Sheriff, I know you're walking a fine line here. You live in this community. You're right. But it's not going to stop me from doing my job. Can we bring him in? Yeah. But I got a better idea. Now, where's that lunch? I think Sheriff, can I do something for you? How you doing, Joey? I'm good. Yeah? I was just wondering where you were last night. You know, when all those red crosses were painted all over town. I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if it was you who painted a cross on Mr. Miller's door? You remember Mr. Miller, right? He used to teach middle school PE. Come to think of it, wasn't he the one who called your dad worried because you weren't reaching puberty as fast as the other boys? I remember your dad was a bit concerned. He confided to me one night over beer or something. What was it? Sheriff? Missing testicle. Oh. <laughs> Is that why you vandalize your neighbor's homes under the cover of darkness? Because you don't have the sack to do something like that in the light of day? You paint the cross on Mr. Conrad's liquor store? You're in there five times a week. You'd be the one who'd know who's coming and going from the liquor store, huh, Sheriff? Hey, you know they're dangerous. That's why you called in the army when they first came back. You know they're not like us. Not like us how, Joey? They're not natural. You mean they're different? That's right. Huh. What about me? I look different to you? No, go ahead. You can say it. Do I look different to you? Get out of my face. Do I look different to you? You think someone with only one stone could respect other people's differences? <laughs> I want you to remember my face, Joe. You got a problem with the return, you got a problem with me. Because I'm returned too.
Listen. We're gonna put some officers on patrol tonight. Then keep an eye on things. You think I went too far? Oh, if you hadn't have done it, I would have. Does Maggie know? Yeah. Okay. Rachel? Rachel. Hmm? I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, it's okay. What's going on? Tom just called. He's at the church. It's nothing to be alarmed about. He's just a little concerned about all this anti-return sentiment in town. He, he thinks we should go to my sister's, just to be safe. Did something else happen? Oh, no. It's just a precaution. I'll get your shoes. I already have you a bag packed and in the car. How long are we staying? I'm not sure yet. Henry. Can I come in? Sorry that we got our wires crossed like that. I shouldn't have made it seem like I was so certain about the deal. Now, I'm still weighing other options, Henry. And Brian, I, I know that this is a big undertaking, but if you back out now, you'll regret it, because one way or another, I am going to get this factory going again. Langston Furniture means everything to me to my family, but it's not just about us. It's about revitalizing this town. You know, we live in such a disposable culture these days. We just throw away things and people like they mean nothing. But I am gonna remind people what it means to make and own heirloom quality American-made furniture. This factory isn't just about furniture. It's about restoring the greatness of American business. Quite the rousing speech. Mr. Langston, my name is William. I'm Brian's grandfather. I see. Brian didn't mention... Oh, I don't like to advertise it. Especially with the way some people feel about us here in town. Yeah, I understand. Welcome home. Well, thank you. Feels good to be back. Especially now that I hear you're getting the factory back on its feet. She used to work in that factory long before you were even born. Is that a fact? Well, if you're looking for work now, we sure could use somebody who knows what they're doing. That is, if your grandson's still willing to make the deal. Well, Brian, if I were you, I would walk this man to the bank right now. Are you sure? Uh, because, Mr. Langston, if you don't want... I think we just heard exactly what he wants. Sure. Now, let's do it. Mr. Addison, everything looks good on your end. Mr. Langston, well, we've got some work to do. How do you mean? Arcadia Bank and Trust has stricter standards and requirements for business loans than what you probably remember. Back in your day, I bet it was... Could we just cut to the chase? The factory land isn't worth what you think it is. We need more collateral. I see. How about the house? You want to remortgage your home? Are you sure about that? If that's what it takes to get this deal done right now, yes. You know I'm good for it. I believe we can make that happen. And after you get better, we'll go home, we'll make you sloppy joes. You like sloppy joes, right? Do you mind taking her home? I told her it could be a while before the injection has any effect on Ray. She needs to shower, get some sleep. How about you? You getting any sleep? Well, the only way I could convince her to go was if I stayed with Ray for the night. Hmm. Aunt Lucille stopped by today. She did? She tried to apologize. And how she treated mom. I was hard on her. Well, knowing Lucille, she's probably been harder on herself.
Hello? Hello? Hey, Lucille. It's me. Maggie. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Things have been better. I know, hon. Look, I just wanted to say... I was angry with my mom, too. I didn't exactly welcome her back with open arms, so... I get it. Why you said what you said. If I could take it back, you can't. Let's just try to move forward. Okay? Hey. Something might be going down tonight. How do you know? Just got an anonymous tip. Someone who was at Twain saw what you did and evidently had a change of heart. Really? Yeah, so the true living were taking things too far. He didn't want to be a part of it anymore. That's it. All right. I'm going to head over to Tom's church now, just to be safe. All right, I'll do a few laps around town. Make my presence felt. Janine? Rachel? Anybody home? Hello? Janine, hi. Where are you? Hey, honey. I'm with Rachel. We'll do an OBGYN in Crestline. Now? Why? Is something wrong? No. I just thought she should have a follow-up with another obstetrician. Well, I'd like to speak with her. Well, she's in with the doctor right now. Janine, I found your journal. That wasn't for you to read. That was private. Janine, listen. As soon as you're done with the doctor, I want you to bring Rachel home and I'll meet you here, okay? Janine? Hang on. Marty, hi. Hey, you at the church? No, I'm at home. Why? The people who painted those crosses, they might be up to something. You think they're gonna target the church? I don't know. But I'm on my way now, just in case. I'll meet you there. Janine? <laughs> Nothing. Let's hope it stays that way. You tell them anything? Didn't want to alarm anybody. Been going through enough as it is. What about Ray? You heard anything? Still the same. I'm sorry I can't stay. I, I have to get home. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just... Janine took Rachel to an obstetrician. She's getting a little overprotective about the baby. I'm just anxious. It's Janine. I'm at the church. Are you home? Oh, it's me. Look, something's wrong. Janine's been acting strange. What do you mean? Just a feeling. It's like she's trying to keep me here. Like, I just want to be home in my own bed. Where are you? Um, where you told us to go. I'm at Kimberly's. Is that what she told you, that I said to go to Kimberly's? Yeah, she said that you were worried about the reaction against the return. Okay, we need to get you out of there. Why? Because you're right. Janine is lying. She's trying to keep you away from me. But why would she try Because she knows I'm in love with you. And she knows without me, she can't have the baby. Tom. It's true. Rachel, 
All this time, I've been trying to do the right thing. You know, I've been trying to be a good husband and a good pastor, and the truth is, I love you. Only you. I always have. I love you, too. Hang tight. And don't antagonize her. I'm coming to get you. I have to go. Everything all right? I will be. I'm gonna stick around, keep an eye on things. Thanks. Tear gas! Everybody up, cover your face, exit this way! Open the back door, air it out. Come on. Follow Agent Bellamy out the front. Cover your faces. <laughs> 